So recently I got asked by a uh, new member of our team, a new life insurance agent that just started with us. He says, hey, Peter, you know, if I were to become a top life insurance agent, knowing what you know now, how would you start differently if you were a brand new life insurance agent? So I figured if I was a new agent, brand new agent, this is what I would do. If I needed to learn how to make money selling life insurance, if I needed to know how to become a top producer, this is exactly what I would do my day. Um, kind of the call that I would make, how I'd structure, what I'd be looking for, and ultimately how I'd set myself up to become a top producer. That's why I want to make this video. If you're a new agent, if you are struggling in the life insurance industry and you want to become a top producer, this is a video for you. So let's start from the jump here. If I was a brand new life insurance agent, this is how I would learn to become a top producer and learn how to master telesales, learn how to selling, sell life insurance at an extremely high level over the phone in the next 30 days, okay? In the next 30 days is the challenge. If I had to learn how to become a top producer, here's what I do. Now, I was actually here before in my journey. This is the day that I started my business. It's actually a screenshot of my bank account. I had $6,183 in a business bank account. I had no idea what life insurance was. I went all in, had, you know, bright-eyed, bushy tails, ready to win, but I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Okay, so I went from not having really anything to start with, failing a ton if you know my story, chargebacks, you know, getting hit with expensive lead costs and losing and not selling to learning how to sell five policies in a single day. And ultimately, too, you can see in some months earning over $26,000 of income, of profit. And ultimately, in my first six months, as you can see at the top here, I sold over $271,000 in my first five months of premium. So I went from how did I got started to now learning how to sell life insurance to eventually going into learning consistently how to sell 40 policies a month. So it all didn't start like that. I'm going to be completely honest. It actually took me over 14 days, my 14th day to make my first sale ever. So you might look at those previous results of you know $26,000 or $270,000 of premiums, but it did not all start like that. Okay. 14 days to make my first sale. Okay. So I basically had to force myself into someone's home from that previous picture. Uh, Miss Bev, I went into their house and sold my first policy. And from there, it was it was game one because, you know, I was so bad at selling life insurance. This was not something that I was good at at first. It wasn't something that you can look at my videos and say, man, how did you learn how to sell life insurance? I was actually very, very bad at selling life insurance. I didn't have the skill. I didn't have the word tracks. I didn't have the tonality. I didn't know what I was doing. So... I want to share with you, if I was restarting over, here's what I would do right now to make this work. Number one is I'd find a script that works, okay? And the reason is it took me over 40 revisions to build my script. So right now, you need to have a proven script, a proven sales process script that has a clear why, has a clear plane, has a clear objection handling, has a clear close so that you can sell life insurance. For me, I used to start my life insurance calls by what is your social security number? And I realized that after people kept hanging up on me that whoever gave me the script was absolutely terrible. I had no idea what they're doing and I believed them. Maybe that's why I didn't sell policies for my first 14 days, okay? So it took me over 40 revisions to build my script. So number one, if you're getting started, make sure you have a proven script. It's gonna help you a ton. Secondly, I'm gonna keep my eyes out. I'm gonna find the best sales guy on the team, okay? Now this is important. I'm going to study the top agent. I'm going to ask that agent a ton of single questions. I'm going to pick his brain. I'm going to ask him questions. I'm going to ask him to, hey, you got five minutes after your calls. I want to learn from you. And I'm going to learn from that top agent. Now, ultimately, too, if I have access, I'm going to listen to every single sales call possible from this agent, okay? Listen it to his calls or her calls for hours. Yes, that's hours. In the morning, I'd listen to it. In the afternoon, I'd listen to it. In the evening, I'd study it. During my lunch, I would have my AirPods and I have some type of headphones in, and I would study one sales calls by an agent who I know and I can see who is crushing it. I'm trying to get as much data and information as soon as possible from a top agent, okay? Then I need to go ahead and I need to get that script memorized, okay? I need to memorize that script immediately. And like I said, every single word, okay? Not here, learn this script here, learn the intro, not really know what the medications or underwriting is, not really sure about the discovery, no. Every single word, every single tonality shift, Every single part of that script needs to be memorized as soon as possible, okay? So you might as, might ask, how do I do that, okay? Yes, this means that you have to read the script 50 to 100 times per day, okay? 
this script right here, what you're doing is your breakthrough. So treat this very seriously. I didn't take it seriously. A lot of agents don't take, oh, it's a script. I'll learn it. But no, again, 50 to 100 reps because this script is your breakthrough. And then secondly, I used to record my my own calls on voice memos. I remember when I was driving in the car, I would have my radio off. I would go out there and just practice that script. I have recordings from when I first got started. It was absolutely terrible, but I knew that I needed to do more reps. and I needed to practice the script as much as possible out loud. And I needed to get as many you know opportunities in with the script. And then I'd listen to them. Okay. Now, quick tip. You need to print your script. This script is important you make sure you print that script and go through it word by word line by line flipping pages highlighting you know marking where you are in the script and then turning the script over okay and again i want to say read it 50 to 100 times every single day next what i would do is now i have a good grasp of the script i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to jump on the phones okay immediately okay i would not be afraid of the phones even though you probably suck okay start calling leads today Attack those phones immediately. Just know right now when you're calling and you're making these outbound dials that you are learning, okay? You don't have to be hard on yourself. You are learning and you're going to get hung up on. The goal is not to make sales in the first few days. The goal is to get better, okay? The goal is not to just make a few call phone calls and master sales. It's to get better every single call, every single day, every single hour, and every time someone gives you a new objection, you get a little bit better because the volume is key, okay? Again, if you're talking about volume of dials, it's not 100, it's not 200, it's 400 to 500 dials minimum per day. It's you doing more work, you outworking yourself, calling as many times possible to get better, yes, for seven days a week, okay? You might think that's crazy. No, you have to go all in. Knowing what I know now, you can't, you know, be one foot in, one foot out. You have to go all in. The reps is the name of the game, okay? Next thing is once you've got the script, once you got the reps in, you need to find a leader. You need a real leader and you need to collect your game time footage. You need a leader who actually is good at what they, you know, what they do and you need someone who's going to review your calls daily, okay? So now that you're getting some calls in, you're getting some feedback, make sure you have some recordings going on. You need to practice objection handling, okay? So let's go back to that. You need to have someone who's reviewing your calls and have your calls reviewed by someone who is better than you at sales that you can trust so they can listen to your calls to give you feedback. We'll come back to this, okay? Next, you need to practice objection handling, okay? And this is mainly before the, you know, the mornings before or after calling hours. Early in the morning before calling hours or after work hours is when I'm going through objection handling. So man, why did I get hung up on on banking? Why did I get hung up on when someone said, I can't talk right now in the intro? Why did someone hang up me at the close? You need to learn what your objections are in the sales process and you need to learn and work through this. Work through them. Practice, 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 practice to learn that objection so it doesn't come up again and then you need to learn how to master it, okay? Then you need to find that mentor and they need to give you feedback on your sales calls, okay? This is crucial. I would take written notes when Jim Tom has given you, you know, feedback. I take written notes. Okay, gotcha. What type of notes? Okay, he wants me to fix my tonality when I say, you know, what are you most concerned about? Or he wants me to, you know, pause in certain areas. Or he wants me to ask a question like this. I am taking written detailed notes, okay? Your mindset is I'm getting better at sales. I need to do whatever is possible and written notes is going to help you there, okay? And I'd focus on the one area that you believe or the mentor told you that you are weakest. So if he thinks, man, you're just not getting through to discovery because your intro sucks, you got to focus only on intro. Focus on intro. Focus on intro. Focus on intro before you move into discovery, before you move into the close. Don't hop around in the script. Focus on the one area that is your weakest and then master that to move on in the sales process. Yes. This is a lot of work, but each day, if I were starting over, I would listen to sales calls from the best closers on repeat. I'd feel like I'd, I'd be sleeping and these sales calls would be happening in my brain because I've listened to so many. Secondly, I would listen to different calls, not just one call. I would listen to different calls, calls I got hung up on, calls that they sold, many different situations, as many situations as possible. I would practice script the script out, out loud every single day, okay? as much as possible, 50, 100, drown myself in the script. And also I would write out the script, okay? I remember typing out the script when I first got started because I wanted to learn without looking at the script what the script was. And if I can write out the script, I memorize the script and that's the goal. 
And then I would do that as many times as possible. Reps is crucial. And then I would make an un unlimited amount of phone calls. From the sun coming up at 8 o'clock, when I can legally call, to the sun going down to 7 o'clock. I would eat at my desk. I would call at my desk. I would live at my desk. And I would live with the headset on. And I would have leads in front of me calling, 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 not taking breaks. Because I know the more reps that I do, the more, you know, the more better that I'm going to get at this role. Okay, and then I'd get a call review from a, from a mentor. I would find that person who is good, who's mastered the skill that I can learn from, study from, and get feedback from. And then I would practice objection handling morning and night. And I would repeat this every single day. I would be relentless to get better. I would not stop until I learn. And ultimately, until I am selling multiple policies every single day, I am not changing this until I've proven to myself, man, I've earned it, I've learned it, and my skills have grown and I've gotten better. So if I were to start over from being a guy who has no idea what life insurance is, who sucked at first, I would take this advice. And that is exactly how I would get good, very, very good in the next 30 days at selling final expense life insurance over the phone that would change my life. And that's how I do 